everybody, your favorite Twitch mod here, and today I'm going to show you guys kind of the basics of how to use Chatterino. I don't use Chatterino often, I just usually use my default Twitch mod view, but this is another option that you can use. <laughs> and without a fairy day you do, let's get into it. So right now, I am on Google Chrome. I believe you can get this on any browser, but if you can't, you know where to go. Um, but in your search bar, you're just going to type in Chatterino and, you know, bring you to Chatterino.com and you're going to hit, obviously, download for whatever program you use. They have Mac, they have Windows, you know, all that stuff. Once you have it downloaded and installed, this is kind of what it looks like. Obviously, I have mine set up already, um, but this, this is where it's going to lead you. It's going to lead you to a blank page. You're going to go into your top right. Uh, I don't know if my display screen is going to show it, but <laughs> uh, on my display screen, uh, you'll see this little gear icon. You're going to click it uh, and go to accounts. You're going to hit add account and that's where you'll log into your Twitch and authorize it. Uh, obviously, I've already done that and your Twitch will show up there. Um, to add a new channel, you're going to just click it and you're just going to put the name the username of the stream that you are either modding for, just want to watch from Chatterino. Um, you don't have to obviously just mod from it. You can also just view it as a regular viewer. Um, <laughs> and um, obviously I'm going to put bird and you're going to click OK. Uh, it will bring you to bird's chat, which she is live right now. Again, you're going to go to your top right <laughs> and click the little mod sword and make sure that it is green. This will make sure that your little mod icons are here. And I'm gonna show you how to get those. <laughs> to get these little mod icons down here, you're going to click back to the gear icon and you're gonna go to moderation and you're going to go to moderation buttons. Uh, I will put these in the description so you guys can just copy and paste them. But to add a new one, you're going to put add, it's going to put the default one and you can just click to whatever you want. So say if you wanted to time out somebody for five seconds, you can just do that. Or you can just remove the whole thing and do slash uh, ban, you know, user. Uh, and then that little thing there. But I will put, you know, these default ones in the description so you guys can copy and paste them. Uh, and you can add, remove them, you know, you can <laughs> switch them around as much as you like. And uh, once you are done, you're going to click OK. And uh, when it's dark like this, that means that it's the streamer is either offline or you just missed the chat. Um, but if it's live down here, that means that that's still frequently going and, you know, you're using it now. Um, so back to this gear icon, you can actually get live notifications. Uh, I have live notifications for Bird, so it will pop up in like my bottom right corner whenever Bird's live and whenever I have Chatterito open. Um, I, these commands, I actually don't know what they're for. <laughs> uh, this, the, this, <laughs> this will actually highlight in chat. So if my username is mentioned, um, if, you know, if I have a whisper, if a sub goes off, uh, channel points, uh, basically it will be highlighted. You can also play a sound. Uh, you can, you know, do this. Um, you you can blacklist users. You can, you know, add users, whatever it is. Uh, you can also add people to your ignore list, just in case. Um, we don't we don't talk about this. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's also keybinds if you guys want to look through it, and there's also, you know, other things that you guys can look through. I find this very useful, especially for bigger streamers if you just, like, can't comprehend the chat. Um, I used this for James Charles a lot when the chat was, like, zooming by. Um, and this also, uh, just a little trip here. Um, <laughs> uh, to pause the chat, you're going to press either your alt buttons on your keyboard. Um, so as you can see, I paused the chat because I'm holding down my alt key. Uh, and that works the same way for regular Twitch as well. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's cool that they added that and you can just, you know, delete whatever messages you want. Obviously there's another mod here, so I'm fine right now. But yeah, I think that is most of the basics that I've learned. I find this very useful. And uh, I will leave the link to Chatterino. I will leave all the commands in the description that I use. Again, you guys can change like the times of like how much you want to time out and such. But um, yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.